Crazy Love Sea Drama. A unique plotline is a takeaway for this show. Plus, it has got a whole lot of things the plot covers, like murder planning, or fake fiancé, or someone pretending to have a terminal illness. Let's have a look at the story. Gojin is a mathematical genius. He is treasured all around Korea for his intelligence. He runs an educational academy known as Gotop Education, the top center attracting families to admit their kids. Working as a professor, plus running a successful institution, Gojin has the wealth he wants. But obviously, there is a giveaway, and that is his narcissistic personality. He is super rude to his employees, to the point that some of them hate working with him. He is super self-obsessed, and it might have been toned down a bit. I initially thought it might be like Kim Jae-wook's role in Her Private Life, where he mesmerizes the audience with his personality and charm. But I was proved wrong. Instead, the role is totally unsuitable for his character in the drama. Mind it, the character was written this way, but it does not suit the actor, according to me. Crystal Young, who plays the role of Shin Ah, is the secretary of the math genius. She gets diagnosed with the last stages of cancer and blames it on her boss. Even though the approach of this is good, this point almost immediately gets thrown out of the story. She goes over to her boss' house to complain about it. And hand in her resignation. This results in a big fight between them and she springs out of the house. Following this incident, Gojin follows and gets into a hit-and-run accident. Everyone points out to Shin Ah as a perpetrator. To avoid being in the limelight of suspicion, she announces that she is his fiancé. After the accident, Gojin pretends to have amnesia to track down the attacker. She is shocked after the announcement of his secretary and confronts her. After both of them find out about each other's plans, they start working together. Looking forward to the drama, both of the leads face a lot of ups and downs and win through them. Hating her boss for her hectic work life, she tries to kill him, but soon that plan of hers gets halted. This murder plot gave a nice twist to the predictable storyline. Viewing from a lens of enemies to lovers, this show integrated it much better than other dramas. The bantering between the two mains was interesting to watch and really fulfilled the purpose of the show. The pairing of crazy love just works. Looking from the perspective of visuals, it is great to see this pairing. Kim Jae-wook has been a strong visual in the industry since he started. Crystal has worked hard for this one and managed her role very well. The chemistry between them is also special and definitely we could see more of this pair soon enough. Crystal Young has always been a great actress and she shows why even in this drama, but her stylists do not do her justice, she is seen wearing something she cannot stand out in. The stylists could have worked better to provide more appropriate dressing to all of the actors according to the standard story norm. From the perspective of all Korean rom-coms, this drama does not stand out in both genres. It is the textbook definition of a standard Korean romance comedy drama. Still, this drama gives us more of the skinship scenes, which is new for this category. Looking at the second leads and other side pieces, they were not given much attention. Neither were they given much relevancy in the storyline, nor on the screen. Whether or not they were in the drama, it would not have made much difference to the series. They were shown in only a few episodes, and even that did not matter, as the center of attraction was only our main leads. Working together, Gojin and Shina fall in love and soon their fake relationship becomes real. Although there is no threshold between the two, the merging of the enemies to loves was smooth. The drama started at a good pace, but rather transformed into a boring segment. There were too many scenes that were just not complimentary and were plain boring. Despite being a comedy drama, a few of the scenes had lines that seemed forced and unfunny. Even the acting could not pull off the scenes because it was tedious to watch them. Most of the scenes can be skipped because of how plain they are but you can't because you need to know the proper story. Even though it has got everything that would have made it interesting, like fake engagement and office romance, they seem to fall short. Enough with the negatives. I overall enjoyed the drama only for the chemistry between the leads. It might be a one-time watch, but it is interesting to see the developments in our leads and how both of them turn into lovers after one of them significantly tried to kill the other. 
it does give a nice twist to an ordinary romance series. The side characters nailed their short roles well. Crystal is always amazing in her roles, she is the star of this drama. Overall, if you are looking to watch a generic rom-com, I would suggest you skip this. It is too predictable for a long-time K-drama fan and you wouldn't enjoy this much. But if you are looking for watching this for the leads, then this might be a good watch. It could also help you with a time-pass story that you want to watch once in a while.